Nice shot. The name's Rex. But you'll call me Captain or Sir. Sir, yes, sir! Hello, guys, it's Michael MGF, and I am back for another Star Wars The Clone Wars action figure review. This time I have the brand new Captain Rex. Uh, this is part of the new wave of figures. Hair on the packaging there. Um, but anyway, as you can tell from the box art, this is a new Captain Rex. Brand new variant, new sculpt. Um, totally new with Captain Rex, and he's really awesome. Um, I've been waiting for Hasbro for a while to finally get the perfect, uh, decent Captain Rex um, without any major, very noticeable flaws, as in an inaccurate helmet sculpt, or like for the, for instance, the new one, when you put the hel helmet on, it kind of like gets bulged out, and you know. But they fix all those problems, and it's a really nice Captain Rex variant. Um, not too fond about its wastecape, though. Anyway, I'm gonna show you the uh, packaging here first. Go over the Galactic uh, Battle Game card first, actually. So you got the uh, card here, simple um, Photoshop little picture of Rex um, on Christophsis. So pretty cool. Um, onto the packaging here, you got a nice shot of Rex there. You can see, very cool. So yeah, um, this is the uh, new design box um, packaging thing. <laughs> um, new bubble, basically same new card, uh, just new bubble. Um, as you can see, it has they have these little um, like bland things right here. It says includes battle game card, die and base. So that's there now. Uh, you also got this sticker still here, um, and now it says see this gear online. Um, so pretty cool, and then it has um, includes Rocket Pearls Impact. Very cool. Um, so basically, it's a new bubble design. It's very cool, um, similar to the other design. But uh, anyway, onto the back here, you got a nice picture of the actual figure, um, and then you got a picture of him from the Zillow Beast episodes. Uh, you got Captain Rex, and that for the description here it says uh, Captain Rex takes a battle to new heights when the new fail. I'm failing today. Um, just late at night. Anyway, Captain Rex takes the battle of new heights. When the clone captain needs to reach high elevations, he boosts his rocket pack with a space comet pr propulsion pack. With this additional gear, Rex can take on battle droids even in space, increasing his chances of stopping even more of the droid army. Um, so, very cool. Um, then you can see here you got the figures on the bottom here. So, uh, yeah, that's the packaging. All right, now on to the actual figure. Put my camera down. All right, so this figure, this uh, variant of Rex, is probably and obviously the best variant. Um, let me get that to focus. Um, as you can see, he does have the same color that Hasbro has been using for Rex. Um, he has a new sculpt. He has a set of new sculpt pistols, which is the first time we've been we see these. Newly sculpted pistols. I personally like the old ones, but uh, I guess I was trying to upgrade everything. Uh, the pauldron is actually new. Um, it's a barely barely noticeable um, change, but it's you can tell it's new. New pauldron design. Um, and now you got his helmet here. They finally got around to putting on a. Uh, I'm not even sure if that's a new sculpt actually, because it doesn't seem like the older Captain Rex. Um, it just might be the wolf helmet. Um, I don't know though. So it very well could be a new sculpt. Um, the rangefinder does not come painted gray. Um, I didn't expect myself to do a review on this figure, so I already painted it gray. Um, this is just white, the top of it, so don't expect that um, to be gray when you find the figure. Um, he does have a new, a removable helmet with a new head sculpt. That is the best clone trooper sculpt I have ever seen Hasbro make. That is great. The eyes look great, the hair looks great, the paint looks great. It doesn't look low quality like the other Rex uh, head did. And I'm really happy that Hasbro is improving on these uh, figures. Now, for articulation on this guy, he has um, pretty much the Commander Stone sculpt. Um, you know, with the no articulation in the chest, no ankle articulation. Um, but he has, like, Commander Stone legs, but with ball joints, which is really cool. Um... So yeah, really, really nice figure. I really like this Captain Rex. Um, really loving it. Hasbro did a great job on him. Um, the ball-jointed legs really help out with the articulation and posing. Um, 
It's almost like a little mini side Joe figure. He's really nice. Um, he can't hold his pistols in these little holsters here. I'm going to go ahead and put one in there. There you go. Uh, pose his arm down. Um, so he's overall a great figure. He has the uh, soft good cape right here. Waist cape. Um, which is also new. New design. Uh, not liking it. I honestly like the other plastic one more. Um, so, uh, yeah. But it's alright. It's it's already fraying a little bit, but it, it's, it, it works. Um, so I'm going to take off his helmet. He does, he can put on his, um, uh, take off his head here. Ah, oh, I moved my lamp. Um, he has this monstrosity, um, propulsion pack, which is like, a big piece, a um, big chunk of plastic you got here. Um, it's almost like a... Hold on one second, me. It's almost like a jetpack built into it. It's, it's a cool little idea. Um, so there it is. Uh, this does go on him. I could attempt to get it on. I did it once. Um, can't promise myself that I'll be able to do it again. But I can promise myself that I'll try. So you guys get to watch me try. Um, let me get these off of here. No. Yeah, this might take a second, guys. You gotta have to, like, uh, get those little bands over him. Uh, plug these into the back here. These little tubes. Um, and then you gotta just kinda push your fingers in there. Oh, jeez, that sounded wrong. Um, just kinda, if you can see that, you gotta get this thing onto that. So one sec, guys. Alright, so I got the propulsion pack on the Rex here. Um, it's a bit of a pain to get on, um, but it does look very cool once you do succeed with getting it on. Um, so, as you can see, the propulsion pack has a lot of nice details, and like I said a second ago, the jet pack mold being molded in is a really cool idea. Um, you can see he has the jets here, uh, really awesome little pack. Um, obviously it's inaccurate to the actual Clone Wars show, he never uses one of these monstrosities of, uh, gears, but... It is definitely a cool little idea, play idea for Hasbro. Um, definitely makes the figure that much cooler. And he does have these little, like, I guess, almost like um, blasters. Um, making him like a Autobot clone. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, just go ahead and pose those correctly. Whenever I don't pose something um, symmetrical, it really bugs me. <laughs> um, but you can see he does have that pistol on the chest there which is removable and he can hold it, um, but since he does come with it like that, um, it's kind of a, it's a pain to remove that, um, since it was put in there by the factory, but you can take it out and put it in his hand. Um, it's kind of pointless though, so I'll just leave it there. Um, so that's Captain Rex with his propulsion pack. Um, he's a brand new figure, part of the new wave, and I really am liking this Captain Rex. And unfortunately, I think this just might be the last Captain Rex that we're going to see for a long time, because if you think about it, Season 4 is coming out, Hasbro is making uh, Phase 2, a Phase 2 version of him, so I don't think we're going to see a Phase 1 version of Rex for a while. Uh, so that has been Captain Rex with his propulsion pack, um, and yeah, there's a quick look at the packaging again. Uh, I found this at Walmart, uh, for all you guys who are wondering. You can get these on online stores, but... Um, that's where I found him. All right, guys. I will see you guys in the next review, uh, which will be on Savage Press. But I don't know which, which order I'll be uploading these in. So, um, all right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.